Hello guys. Today we are going to learn how to build a BCD to 7 segment converter using the Verilog code. A BCD to 7 segment converter is basically a hardware IC which is used to convert a 4 bit PCD input to a 7 bit 7 segment output in order to display it on the 7 segment display. We will be learning how to realize an IC operation via the Verilog code. Before moving on, we must learn what are BCD numbers and 7 segment display. A BCD stands for binary coded decimal. These are 4 bit numbers which can only display 0 to 9 in it. For displaying a single digit BCD number, we require 4 bits. Similarly, for displaying a 2 digit BCD number, we require 8 bits and a 3 digit BCD number, we require 12 bits. You can see the following examples. A 7 segment display is nothing but 7 LEDs arranged in the following fashion. These are of two types. Firstly, common cathode in which each and every LED is grounded, which means that in order to activate the LED, we must send a high signal. Secondly, a common cathode in which each and every LED is connected to a high input, which means that we must ground each and every one of them in order to activate those. In FPGA, every LED is common cathode, so in order to activate them, we must give a low signal. And in this program, we are going to use common cathode only. We begin our programming by defining a module named VCD to 7 segment converter and within that, we define the inputs and outputs required by us. Now we define which ports are input and which ports are output. The BCD as discussed is a 4 bit input and the segment is a 7 bit output. Now we begin an always loop in which we type the BCD in the sensitivity list. Within that we add a case statement in which we will look for the BCD value and we will program or send the value to the 7 segment accordingly. Now you must know that in a common anode if we send 1 then the LED would be off as it is already connected to a high input and requires a low input in order to activate. So we must send a zero in order to activate it. You can verify the code here.
default, we type that all of the LEDs are high and we end the case statement. We end the always block and we simply compile the program. You must declare all of the inputs used in the always block as rich. As the error is solved and the compilation was successful, we can type the test bench. Now we begin the code for the test bench. For that, we declare a new module named bcd underscore seven segment underscore test bench. Within this, we declare all of the input as registers and all of the output as wire. Now we have to call the program for which the test bench is being made for. We set the instantiation name as a1. Now we initialize the values to all of the given inputs. But first we have to type the monitor command. The monitor command is used to display the values in the transcript window and also helps in monetization of the values. Do note that the value of BCD is set as decimal as we want to know that for which value of decimal is the segment displayed. Now we initialize various values at different timestamps to the BCD input. Now we simply end the initial block and end the module and we now we have to compile our program. As the compilation was successful, we can simply simulate it. The result of the simulation has been shown in waveform form and also in the transcript window. You can verify it now. Thank you for watching and also please subscribe our channel.